A Navy SEAL from North Texas is one of two killed during a raid in the Arabian Sea. Fox 4's Dan Godwin live this morning with that story. Dan? Well, Brandon, 27-year-old Nathan Gage Ingram was a Navy Special Warfare Operator, or SEAL. He had enlisted in the U.S. Navy in 2019. Ingram was from Roanoke in Denton County and had attended school here in the Northwest ISD. The district said out of respect for the family's privacy, school officials are not putting out a statement apart from confirming he had attended school here. The Navy says Ingram fell into rough seas on January 11th while he was trying to board a ship carrying illicit weapons to the Houthi rebels who are based in Yemen. Another SEAL then jumped into, into the sea to save Ingram, but neither survived. The Navy ended their rescue efforts for the two sailors after an exhaustive 10-day search. Since late November, the Iranian-backed Houthis have carried out more than two dozen attacks on commercial vessels and U.S. Navy ships in the Red Sea, claiming the violence is a response to Israel's war on Hamas in the Gaza Strip. Just yesterday, the U.S. and U.K. militaries launched another round of airstrikes on areas used by the Houthis in Yemen. The Biden administration has designated the group as global terrorists. Navy SEAL Nathan Gage Ingram was part of the effort to degrade the Houthis' ability to carry out attacks. Texas Senator John Cornyn posted a statement on X saying Ingram was a brave Texan who gave his life for our nation. The message ended with the phrase, fair winds and following seas. The phrase is used by the Navy to bid farewell to a sailor and in this case, pay tribute. Reporting live at Northwest ISD, Dan Godwin on Good Day.